John Fulton with Auburn University. I'm in the Biosystems Engineering Department and actually a Precision Ag Extension Specialist for the state of Alabama. We're uh, in Alabama. Uh, some of the future I think is going to lie in nutrient management and utilizing technology, some of the site-specific practices that we're seeing here at the International Precision Ag Conference really implemented to, to encourage farmers to, to be good stewards, uh, nutrients, uh, but also on pesticides at the same time. We're seeing a lot of work uh, in the seeding realm in terms of variable seeding. Uh, in the future, I think that the, it's really bright for data management as we start to collect more and more data as, as farmers stockpile uh, their yield maps and various data layers from their farms, utilizing that to, to gain the insights and knowledge that they're needed to, to make decisions in the future as it relates to their operation and enhancing their operation uh, over time here. Well, I think, you know, we talk about guidance as, as the, the base thing that people uh, or our growers are adopting. What they then quickly recognize is uh, they can do more with that technology. They can maybe do verberate, they can add section control, whether that's on a planter, sprayer type uh, machine. But I think long term with some of the telemetry type uh, technology that's coming over, being able to push and, and pull data from those machines uh, and even knowing agronomically what we're getting out of the field, whether it's a yield map or some that has applied data, we're able to better stockpile data that farmers can then turn to either themselves, a retailer, or someone managing that data to, to generate uh, information that they can make better decisions on in the future uh, on input specifically. But I also see a turning of, uh, and what, what I spoke about is, is being able to manage my machinery down the road and, and making sure that uh, the price of machinery is increasing, I got to make it sure it's efficient, uh, make sure it's operating at maximum capacity, I don't have the losses, I don't have the drift, I don't have those type of things. But managing that machinery is going to be as critical in the future as well, plus the agronomic type data management that you'll hear a lot of people speak about here at the conference. I think at this point in, in speaking in 2012 and in, in the very near future, I think just managing data, bringing data in and, and making sure that farmers are getting the data off of their machinery, archived in a database, we're seeing the retailers really um, providing that service for the farmers. They don't have the time to have their own software um, in many cases, and so the retailers are providing that archiving capability plus adding in the analysis capabilities today to, to help them while at the same time that the retailers are providing um, uh, the soil sampling, the soil analysis and the fertility recommendations back and, and working with the farmers on that end as well.